Hello everybody, this is Brian Black here. Welcome back to Let's, Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red in this episode. We're gonna go through about 14. No, I'm at the Sinden Gra Sinden Graver. Before I start talking about the dishes, sorry. What's the fighting going on there? He just likes to come back and argue about pretty much nothing. Actually, when we get a complaint, I can tell him what's going on, and they can't take criticism. No, that's not it. But you would like to make it seem like talk. you're better at everything than anybody about else. Talking. If I come back there and let them know, hey, this is dry. Oh, hey, the hummus is messed no, up. No, we really accept that, but the fact that you go back there, oh, you guys can't cook, you guys are shit, you guys are that. I don't say it the first time. No, I say it after the 13th table. Right? You like after to the say, 13th table. Like we don't do after that the 13th table, table that complains. Okay, okay. That's what I have every day. Okay, Can I start talking about my lunch? Yeah, sure. The Yeah, sure. 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 The bones were disintegrating. When the bones start disintegrating, that's three hours overcooked. I don't know what to tell you. Have you given up? No. Not yet. Top sirloin, it was miles away from medium rare. Mm. What are you oomin' about? Shut up. Okay. No, no, I heard not, you. nothing to do with some What's wrong? He's making it seem like it's all my fault. He said, mm, mm, like I'm doing something wrong. Yeah, they so know they've been messing up all day. Before you even walked in. So when you know he was here, can't you just like step up? You should have stepped up. I'm telling you guys what's okay. going on. He wasn't in up. that position today. Stop putting the blame on him. You guys were he's cooking. Who's the one criticizing us? Even if he was food. criticizing, you guys, you guys cooked the food. That's what happened, right? That's what happened. You can try it. Tell me what you think. I, I've never seen it like this. Have you given up? Kind of. Kind of. Do you care? Not really. It shows you don't care. Shrimp, they came mm -hmm. swimming in a bowl of butter, overcooked. Didn't you guys see it? It's because we were busy arguing. I could hear it. So could your diners. Yeah, they just get up and leave because of that. Wow. I'm going to get some fresh air. This is my dad's restaurant. I do as much as I can to help him, but being forced to be here every day, you know, it's kind of like making me feel like I don't want to care. So you're not too happy, huh? Not really. And you? Please stop missing. What's your problem? I just graduated high school. So, who want to run this business? You blame your brother. Yeah, bought food and, and overcooked me. Is it my fault? No, you do everything perfect. Since you're Mr. Yeah. Perfect, I can make better food. Why don't you serve dinner tonight? Yeah, I should actually. Yeah, and yeah. I'll work outside. <laughs> That's what I thought. Don't step up to the plate. Your job is to put the food on the grill. Why don't you make it your job? Put food on the grill. Why and sit there and watch your job. Why don't you make it your job? Make it your job. You know how to do better? Show me you can do better. Can you take it? Show me you can do better. Can right? Show me you can do better. I'm in the front cleaning tables and cleaning everything up. The kitchen is not my problem. Go ahead. That's your role. That's my thought. Bad. You cannot step up to the plate. Good. You are. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Some son, you are wanting to help. Shut the hell up. Nobody happy here. I don't know what the heck to do. I really don't know. Do you like that pen? <sighs> I love it. Love it, love it? She does, she does. And did you know that it turns handwriting into text? Dad into mustache dad. And it even helps you find costumes. Okay, okay. Cook my food right and go 
will be fine. No, we won't be fine. After getting criticized, sorry about that, guys. I'm back. Go do something about it. Do what? The family gets ready for dinner service. Oh, so you want to get to the pool? And they have not taken a break from the fight. My job is to get them there. Hey, we'll find something to do today. Stop. That's enough. Ramsey. Hi. Hello. You have another sister? My mom. Uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And first name is? I'm Ahlam. Let's catch up, shall we? Let's have a little seat and sit down. And I have had it. I have had it ready. First of all, um, I must tell you, it looks like the, uh, the kids are trapped in here. Is this what you wanted? No, not really. No? I feel sorry for the kids because they missed out so much for their life. They need yeah. to grow, go somewhere, but at the same time, he needs them. How do you manage? Bad. Where are we at? Very bad. I haven't been sleeping lately. It's not healthy for your daughters and your sons to be in this environment seven days a week. They can't be chained to the restaurant. They need some space, right? Yeah, they do. I think if we don't stop it, they're going to lose them. Okay. Tonight I'm going to watch that list and we'll see how this place operates. It's a pleasure meeting you. Thank you. We need a Greek salad, a waffle plate, and a chicken and lula. What are you just standing there for, man? Do something. Okay. So who just walked in the grill? We pretty much all split up even. So there's no one person on the grill? No. No. No, no we kind of just switch it off. You just switch it on off? Yeah. 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 Just leave it on hot. Just leave it. Just leave it. Turn it off. Yeah. Turn it off. We really don't care how the food is cooked. I'm doing all this work from day to night, every day, and I don't even get paid. Table 14. This is beef and chicken. Table 14. Falafel plate. Steak medium. For real? Yeah. I just for me, this is like flooded. Do you want this medium? You guys cooked it rare. Who cooked it? I did. It's the big rat. Okay, I'll make a new one. Sam, you're in charge. 
and you're serving raw chicken. I'm amazed that you're still open. Why are you serving? The outside is cooked. So I'm feeling the inside is cooked. Yes, you're chained to the business. Yes, you don't want to be here, but you cannot serve that shit and expect to get away with it. Those kids love me crazy, man. All what you want, finish the order and sit down. That's not what I can't leave you have time to sit down. What are you talking about? Oh, it's my kids' fault they do this. It's my kids' fault because of that. You don't listen. He doesn't care. When really it's his decision to keep us all here, he brought that upon himself. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. There. That's it. This is the last place. There's a scroll all night long. Thank you, guys. Yeah, stay seated and tell thank you. That was stupid. Stay seated, look who's talking. You're standing right there, what's on your phone? What else are you doing? Get up. That's my thought. Are you paying me? Or are you my boss? You're stupid. Don't tell me what to do. You're stupid. This is fucking swear. No, I'm down. Right out of that. Oh, here comes the stars of the night. It's my dad's restaurant. I don't have to do nothing. I can do whatever I want, whenever I want. Oh, stop, stop. Enough. You're stupid. You have a big mouth. Yeah, keep talking. Shut up, man. Shut up. You dumbass. Yeah. Oh, waitress. Garbage. Look who's talking. Yeah. I'm the one garbage. You're the one. Do nothing around here. No, this thing will act like you own the place. You can't put the damn customer right. You can't take it. Or you can't bring back drinks right. Let alone how the best works. Get inside. Get inside. You're useless. You're useless. I feel that Get out of We can even run the food out. And check the tables better than you, you guys. Took it, At the right? same time. Cook your food, right? And then you can serve it. Shut up. Shut up. Get out of my face. Hi, right, be back. All right, guys, I'm back. While Chef Ramsay continues to inspect the state of the restaurant, the family went out for fresh air. And what they got was a major brawl between Rhonda. You do nothing around here now. This time you act like you own the place. And oldest son, Jamal. I mean, this does not feel like a family. And the way we just behaved in the last five minutes is the way we just conducted service over the last two hours. Disorganized, chaotic, and so fragmented. I mean, people suffering are the customers. Yeah? Jeez. Oh, boy. These kids are dumbass. Since his arrival, you guys take a seat. Chef Ramsay has witnessed constant bickering and fighting. Okay. He realizes that much of it can be attributed to the feeling of being trapped in their father's restaurant. You've never done this. But what I want you to do now is to be honest with your father and explain that your lights and your careers are going elsewhere. I want you to be open. Tell them what you're feeling, your frustrations, why you don't want to be here. Tell my dad. Yes. It's like gonna hurt him. Oh, uh, come on, I don't have time for this squirrel. But you each have to stand up to him. You do not have to be here seven days a week. It's stopping now. You've got to stay focused on what you want to do now. Here he is. Okay? I'm freaking out right now because I know my dad's going to get hurt. I know he thinks that we love being here, but we really don't. Yeah. So, I guess that's all for this episode of Let's Play from One. Okay. Alright, in the next episode, we're going to go throughout 15 this is Barn Black and Dr. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.